Greetings everyone, Joseph James here with your nightly newsletter brought to you by the theschooloftrade.com. Today was, of course, June 22nd, 2009. Before we get into the live trade room, of course, this morning had a wonderful morning again in the live trade room. A little bit sloppy and choppy coming into this manic Monday, of course, the Monday following a Father's Day weekend here in the United States. Uh, a, an options expiration Friday, a wacky Wednesday from last week, so we were expecting uh, somewhat of a sluggish start this morning, right? Got a Sunday morning, uh, excuse me, Monday morning here in the summertime. Uh, before we go over what we took this morning live trade room, let's talk about our term of the day. Term of the day is two step. Now, we have a two step trade pattern. We also have a two step price pattern. And of course, what we're talking about here, more information on it, the two step term is used mostly in our live trade room. And you'll hear me say this to describe a candlestick pattern leading up to a wave setup. Okay, so we'll be looking for a wave pattern setup, which is, of course, a trend continuation trade. It's a high percentage trade that we execute in our live trade room. Now, this two-step pattern, guys, is considered a red flag or a heads up, okay, that the two-step trade setup may be coming. Now, if you guys have joined us in the live trade room, you guys are aware of this, but if you're not, make sure to come and ask questions about this tomorrow in the live trade room. The wave pattern, when it fails, has a failure pattern. That failure pattern is called the two-step trade setup. Now, of course, where did the name of that two-step trade setup come from? Well, it came from the price pattern that we saw leading up to a failure in the wave pattern itself. So when I'm looking for a wave pattern and I see a two-step price pattern, I now know that I'm probably not comfortable to take this wave pattern. I'm looking more at a wave failure pattern, which of course we call the two-step. So you'll hear me saying things like, the two-step price pattern has disqualified this wave setup trade. All right, so that's some examples of how we'll use it in the trade room. Let's look at comparison between a perfect pattern and a two-step pattern. So remember, guys, this two-step pattern is a red flag. Okay, It's a heads up. It's a red alert. Right. The alarms go off when we see this pattern, and we think to ourselves, well, we may not want to be taking this trend continuation breakout trade that we call the wave pattern. It tells us when we see this two-step price pattern that we may be looking at something more along the lines of a two-step setup. So let's look at the left side. A perfect pattern looks like this. It's a strong move up, or down, of course. In this case, it'll, this will be a long trade. It's a strong move up, a quick and decisive move right to the trigger line, which of course is this yellow line here, and then a quick test of the trigger itself. We're looking for quick and consistent speed of the tape or the time and sales window. So it's quick move up, a quick and decisive pullback and test of the trigger line. We see quick and consistent speed of the tape throughout the whole process. Now let's compare that to a two-step pattern. Now this is obviously a red flag pattern. This is a heads up. We don't want to be taking this trade if we see this pattern. This is, a, again, a strong move up, but now we're going to see that move start to deteriorate. We're going to see sluggish and confusion among the price action. So you'll usually see a sluggishness to test at the trigger line and a slow and choppy speed in the tape. So whereas on a perfect pattern, we saw the quick and decisive test of the trigger line, this is where we're going to see that sluggish, a slow down of the tape, and, and this what what we call a confusion pattern where we'll see a green candle, red candle, green candle, right? That sideways chop. In other words, it's a slow and choppy price action in around this trigger line. Okay, so that's the two-step pattern. And again, when we see that pattern show up in our charts, we know on, to be on red alert, to stay away from any wave patterns, and then to begin to look for the, pit, the, the failure of that pattern, which is the two-step pattern. And guys, let's talk about that live trade room. Opens up tomorrow morning at 7.30 Eastern. It's available for trial members. We have a three-week trial as well as lifetime members. No monthly fees. We've got all your charts and your data accounted for, guys. All you need is this course. Now, once we open the trade room, we have three very simple jobs, guys. First job is to identify the news events and the type of market that we're seeing. Second job is to identify, or should I should say adjust, to what we've already identified. We adjust to the news events by defining our windows of opportunity. We adjust to the type of market that we see by defining our trade zones, marking up our charts and our support and resistance levels. And if we do jobs number one and two correctly, well, then we have job number three comes pretty easy for us. We practice patience and discipline to wait for the perfect setups. We're looking to let our rules to the trading guys, and we see this over and over again in the live trade room with our members, and that is we don't overanalyze, we don't overcomplicate it, we keep it very simple, and we let our mechanical rules 
the trading. And I want to remind you guys, we go over those rules with you guys tomorrow morning at 7.30, so make sure you're there. We'll go over the rules of entry uh, every step of the way or check out our beginner's course. Our beginner's course will give you a lot more information about how we trade in the trade room as well. Now, let's talk about some of the trades we took this morning. Now, the DAX market was pretty good to us today. The Russell market was pretty good to us today. We saw very sluggish price action, and the DAX and the Russell was no different. Um, this, of course, is the FDAX futures contract, trading in September 09 here. Now, it didn't take us long to get out the gate this morning after the 9.30 open. Eight minutes past the hour. Now, as you guys can see, this is a very sluggish, slow price action here, and we got pretty chopped up pretty good. We only were able to grab a couple points off each trade, and of course on the DAX at $35 per point, they quickly add up, but at the same time, this was not a very big morning by any means, but you guys will quickly see how easily this stuff adds up uh, on our way to our daily and weekly goals. Uh, 10.08 this morning, this is a two-step long, a counter-trend trade pattern. The long side here, entry was at 41 half at two points. So, of course, on a counter trend trade, I'm looking to take profit here pretty quickly. And we got pretty much every bit of this long trade taken out of the market before it came right back around with us and took us out at our entry point. Of course, our next trade wasn't until about 10.38. You guys can see here as I pan to the right, 38 minutes past the hour now. This is a wave pattern short, pretty much a, a picture perfect uh, wave pattern short here, guys. Pretty much what we see every single day of the week. This another small winning trade. This is a short entry at 21. We waited for our trigger line to make our lower lows before we jumped on board. Momentum was on our side here. Got us again a quick three points and then bounced us out of this trade before it then right, right back up against us. So we didn't really see much extension here on the side of the trending or the seller's uh, for this last trade, didn't see very much conviction or, or, or what we call extension, that is, these trades really running for us. So, of course, our methodology, which, of course, believes in cutting our losses, maximize, you know, maximizing our winners, but never letting a winning trade turn into a losing trade, really kept us in the green today. Didn't let us get chopped up because of a trailing stop. So the methodology we use of managing our trades really came in handy here. 10.50 this morning, another two-step long. This, again, was a counter trade trade this is a counter trend trade so two step long 22 even was our was our entry and once again very slow choppy price action tally them all up guys two four seven points there this morning here in the dax multiply it by 35 bucks and that gets your total for the dax this morning let's talk about our russell now we only had one winning opportunity here or one trading opportunity i should say here in the russell 1118 just before we finished up the morning here this is another two-step pattern this was long, of course, counter trend, as you guys can see. And we pretty much were successful in grabbing about the only trending environment that we see uh, the entire morning here. We pretty much grabbed the only real strong price action that we saw. And, you know, of course, once again, we practice patience and discipline to make sure that we're always ready willing and able to react when we see our patterns develop. One of the only patterns that actually fit our rules this morning, 1118, two steps, so a counter trend long here, entry at 95 even, took profit at 3 and at 10, all right, as well as 6 on our runner for a total of 19 ticks. At 10 bucks a tick USD, you can also do, do the math on that one as well. Add it all up, guys. A little under 500 bucks here for the morning, trading with only three contracts here in the live trade room. And I want to remind you guys, come join the live trade room tomorrow morning. Opens up at 7.30. We'll trade six different markets here. Live trade calls with entries, targets, and stops. Plenty of opportunities for questions, guys. So bring your questions. You're going to see the market in a completely different way, and we'll give you free three weeks to come test this out. My name is Joseph James, guys. Hope, you, hope the video helps, and we'll see you next time.